guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm here to bring you part two of my most highly anticipated upcoming 2014 releases. Yeah! Alright, so I have here a list of ten more books that I'm highly anticipating, and let's just get started. The first one is Saga Volume 4. I can't, I don't think there's a picture for this yet, or a release date. But I know, I, at least I've heard that it's coming out sometime in November. Thank God. And if you're not aware of the Saga graphic novel series, what are you doing? No, but it's just a science fiction graphic novel series that is awesome and hilarious and quite graphic, so be aware if you're a child. But Volume 4, I want it. I've been wanting it for months. So there's that. The next one is The Young Elites by Marie Lu, and I did not write down the release date for this. Oh no. This comes out October 7th, and Correct me if I'm wrong, but people keep telling me this is like fantasy X-Men, Marie Lu, action star writer, so I have really high expectations for this book. I mean like really high expectations. Please don't disappoint Marie Lu because I will cry. The next one is A Cure for Dreaming, which comes out October 14th, and this is Cat Winter's second book. I don't... I, I guess you could say it's probably a companion novel to In the Shadows of Blackbirds, which... I really enjoyed. If you're not aware, Cat Winter's books all kind of have this like um, historical setting with a feminist, uh, strong, independent female main character with a very dark, gothic, spooky, eerie tone as well. So this one is set in the turn of the century and the female is a suffragette and she is dealing with hypnotists. So it sounds really, really, really cool. Like I said, I really enjoyed the her other novel, which had such great atmosphere, so I'm really hoping for the same thing with this one. The next one is This Shadow War This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is book two to the These Broken Stars by These Broken Stars. And again, another beautiful cover. Thank you. And um, I believe um, this is just a companion book. It doesn't follow the same characters, it follows like a new storyline, but I am sure that the other characters will fit in. That being said, I didn't particularly want to look up the plot for this because I kind of wanted to go on this not knowing because that's kind of exactly what I did with these Broken Stars and I ended up really enjoying that. I do know, however, just based on what the first book is about, I'm sure it'll be very sci-fi, futuristic, and it'll follow two perspectives, a male and a female, and it should be a good time. The next one is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Can we appreciate this cover first? Because freaking beautiful. This synopsis sounds super intriguing. Basically, um, if I was a young girl and she lives in a world where you can jump to many different dimensions in other alternative worlds. So like your life but an alternative setting so things could be slightly different. Basically, her father is killed and her killer escapes into an alternate world. So then she chases him going to all these different alternate worlds but then things start changing and she starts, I don't know, befriending or just finding out like the situation changes in alternate worlds and so her killer becomes someone who's not what he seems in her world. I don't know. It sounds trippy. I love alternate or parallel world books. I just really enjoy it so I'm really looking forward to reading it. And that comes out November 4th. The next one is Talon by Julie Kagawa and this comes out 11 4 or November 4th. Fun fact about me in terms, this is a fantasy novel following dragons. Fun fact, I am not the biggest dragon fan. I love fantasy, but I'm not a big like a magical creatures fantasy reader. I know, it's a little random. However, I'm really looking forward to this because one, I really enjoyed Julie Kagawa's writing. It's full of action and this seems cool because people turn into dragons, which is more like shape-shifting to me and not like, oh, there's a magical dragon over there. I don't know. For some reason, it's slightly different in my brain and I'm really excited to read it. The next one is The Infinite Sea and this comes out September 16th. This is book two to The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Fifth Wave, if you're not aware, is already being turned into a movie, which is just ridiculous, but it is about sort of uh, the end of the world in America. The world has been taken over by aliens and they're killing all the humans in different waves of attacks. Um, I read the first one pretty much when it came out last year. I gave it a four to five stars. I enjoyed the action sequences and like all the alien aspects. The romance was a little eh, -eh but I'm hoping that the second one is better and I'm looking forward to continuing on with the series. The next one is The Retribution of Mara Dyer, which comes out hopefully, maybe, who knows, November 4th. It says November 4th right now, but really, truly, who knows. I haven't read the second one yet, 
because I haven't done that to myself because the third one keeps getting pushed back. However, I really, really enjoyed the first one, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and I love the mystery and the darkness and the unreliable narrator that is Mara Dyer in this series. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you pretty much anything about the first one because I feel like it's better going in that way, but I'm looking forward to the last one, which also means I can read the second one, so... And the last, no, well, it's not the last one. The next one I'm going to talk about is Sister's Fate, which comes out August 14th. This is the third and final book to the Cahill, Cahill, I don't know how to say that. Cahill, what, the door opened. The Cahill Witch Chronicles. Um, the first one being Born Wicked, which is sort of an alternate historical fiction witch novel, which I really enjoyed the first and the second one was pretty good, kind of not as good as the first, but it's a cool setting as it's a historical fiction like Salem, Massachusetts-esque, but it's set about uh, about almost the turn of the century in terms of the 1900s, and it's like this colonial America setting that's like super religious. I don't know, it's really cool and really interesting, and I really liked that, and I'm excited to read the conclusion as the second one left off on a huge cliffhanger. And the last one I'm going to talk about is Unmade, which comes out September 28th. And this is the third and final book to the Unspoken Trilogy, which again, the second one left off on a huge cliffhanger. I recently have been talking about these books, but Unspoken follows a young girl named Cammie, who is such a cool character. She's super independent reporter girl, who I just loved. And uh, basically what happens is she lives in a really small town, and for her whole entire life she's been able to hear a voice in her head, right? Talking to it, imaginary friend, but then her imaginary friend turns out to be a real person. And that sh changes some stuff. So, the series is really fun, and again, it concludes soon, so I'm excited to finish. Alright guys, those are the rest of my most anticipated releases. I realize a lot of them were sequels or ends of trilogies, but that's just what happens when you read a lot of books. You have a lot of other books that are part of the other books. Anyway, let me know down below any books you guys are anticipating, as I might have missed some, and I need more, okay? So I will see you guys soon with another video.